If a property manager or a client representative, it could be really not just property management, it could be a corporate uh, representative, has not developed a, an emergency response plan, certainly now is the time to do so. There are a lot of resources that are out there. Uh, first of all, talking to their insurance carrier, uh, talking to not only their insurance broker, but the carriers that provide general liability insurance, they have a lot of great templates. A lot of our, uh, a lot of associations that our clients will be belonging to, as an example, if it's a property manager, the Building Owners and Managers Association, BOMA, BOMA International is a terrific uh, uh, place to find. They've already developed standards and protocols and have a lot of resources that a property manager can, can use. Uh, also partnering uh, with a security provider, uh, Secure America, we uh, partner quite uh, intimately with our uh, with our property managers and other customers to sit down with them uh, well ahead of an event, but on a certainly on an annual basis to review the, the security procedures from our perspective. But there's more to an emergency plan than just security procedures. There's other things that a property manager needs to know. Uh, the other area that I would look at is what are the threats specifically to a city or around a, an area. Uh, the other area I would suggest a property manager do is contact their colleagues the building across the street. Uh, there's a lot of meetings that go on, not only BOMA meetings, but uh, security association meetings that the property manager should be involved with so they know what's going on. But I think by looking at all of those sources and, and even just going on the internet to looking at some basic plans that they could use. ASIS International, American Society for Industrial Security, uh, is a leader in providing that information. So certainly as is international, uh, looking at that website, talking to associations, well, they have some great materials as well as does the federal government in providing good guidance. Uh, DHS, Department of Homeland Security, is another great, uh, great area of focus that uh, can be used as a best practice for a property manager or really anybody in developing comprehensive plans. The plans, though, need to be execute. They need to be executable. It's easy to have a big binder uh, showing all of this, all of these uh, word documents on what to do. It, it really has to be a plan that can easily be executable, meaning that. If we had a call right now that something was happening, immediately we could, we could utilize that plan. Because if it's just a document just to appease an insurance company that's never used, it's never tested, uh, there's no roles and responsibilities, uh, it's just a, a doorstop. And we've seen that happen. So it's a plan that has to be certainly uh, done in a way that all of the people that are responsible for executing it know their role, know what to do. Uh, you've done tabletops, meaning you've given scenarios in a room to people to say, what happens if this happens? Is it a bomb threat? Is it a fire? Is it a medical emergency? Is it a power failure? Is it a protest? Uh, or is it a criminal act? Uh, what, how are the stakeholders associated with that particular account? And when we say stakeholders, tenants, employee groups, vendors, how are they all going to interact, not siloed, but together in responding and preparing for a situation?